Welcome to Port of Spain, where I'm trying to track down Brian Charles Lara Boulevard, or just Brian Lara Boulevard. But this place is uh, pretty crazy. We've got Scotia Bank there that uh, rings a bell, but everything else is pretty foreign. Oh, <laughs> that's not foreign. Kentucky Fried. Fantastic. Bit of an issue getting here, but um, I'll tell you about that in another uh, part of this equation. Because this place is pretty awesome, and I'm not far from Brian Lara Promenade. Hey guys, I've tracked down the statue of Brian Charles Lara, or Brian Lara. Um, he's about 300 metres away. It looks as though he's playing his favourite little pull shot with the hip and the foot up. Oh, it's classy, I'm starting to get emotional. This is a, a slightly more relaxed area of Port of Spain and Trinidad and Tobago. If I was to go down there where the markets basically are, I'd be hung out to dry. It is a madhouse. Absolute madhouse. They're waffling something to me in, in foreign. I don't know what's going on. But uh, all you got to do is smile and uh, put the hand up. All is well. If we're all Brian Charles Lara fans, then we all get along, don't we? Let's go see him now. Nearer. He is getting nearer. He's within sight. It's beautiful around here. Brian Lara Promenade. Oh, I thought this was bloody. It's just a car park, literally. City park up there. Whoa. The water taxi terminal, that could be cool. I'll check that out and I'll go to Tobago. But here's the man. Brian Charles Lara. Wow. It's emotional. Unfortunately, this sign is worn off, unlike his legend. But it uh, doesn't matter. The sign's been faded for a while. I can't even read anything. Something about 1990 has started his test career. But I'll tell you a few facts. He got the highest score of 375 in Test Match Cricket, which was eclipsed a little bit later by Matthew Hayden making 380 against... Oh, it was against Zimmers, wasn't it? Zimbabwe. About two weeks after that 380 from Hayden, he then got to the magical figure of 400. Brian Charles Lara, 400 not out versus the English and uh, what a legend I was always a Sachin Tendulkar fan growing up but um, to be honest when in hindsight the guy took the game on a lot more better than, uh, than Sachin and he was a great player no question about it here he is Brian Charles Lara well after the emotions of Brian Lara statue I'm going to try and work out a either a water taxi or a uh, trip to Tobago from Trinidad. Of course, Tobago is the other little island. Um, but it's a bit of a debacle. The one from San Fernando to San Fernando is going at 4.30, so that's too late for me. The early bird catches the worm. No, I'm going to San Fernando, bro. So... I'll work out what's going on in terms of uh, Tobago. Here's the Central Bank of Trinidad and Tobago, just to prove that I'm here. It's a busy street, probably called a highway. And there's the Port of Spain ferry terminal, where I'll have to wash my hands three times before I enter. Trinidad e Tobago Welcome to Port of Spain I've got my day sorted for tomorrow It's going to be going to Tobago 100 TTD, that's Trinidad and Tobago dollar to the layman It's not bad 
was that equate to? $15 return US I hope it's got to bring the passport I'm now on my way to Queen's Park Oval where some damage was has been done in the past there's some Olympic medalists there from the Trinidad and Tobago finest athletes it's actually quite a modern city as you can see the port of Spain being the capital very modern that guy's delivering KFC he had the KFC full kit on that is wonderful right just a concept that's unheard of the Parliament buildings Trinidad and Tobago one nation it's all about the discipline and production there's got to be some tolerance there and together we, insp we aspire together we achieve quite impressed with TNT actually to be honest A lot of masks have been worn, I'll have to get mine on soon again I believe, they give me a bit of a death stare. But I guess it's not as bad as a death stare from Malcolm Marshall, currently Ambrose, Courtney Walsh, uh, all those big boys really. Is it Brian Lara's home ground? Yep. Yeah. When was the last test match played here? Um, last, uh, last year. Oh yeah? Yeah. This year, most of the, most of this year, yeah, when it is, it's not more club, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a dream. Dream to be here. <laughs> I won't get close to the wicket block, I promise you. Are you, are you a ground staff, are you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, look, the, we just prepared this wicket, yeah? Yeah. Practice. This one here. Yeah. This and the end one. Still pretty firm, yeah? Yeah. It's beautiful. Dos Santos stand. Mm -hmm. I like the KFC stand. Will Brian Lara have his name on anything yet? Yeah. He's got it? Look it up oh, there we go. Brian Lara, Brian Lara Pavilion. Pavilion. Wow. That's amazing. Looks like a good pub up there as well. Mm -hmm. Trinidad and Tobago Cricket Board. And what's your name? Joel Khan. Joel Khan. Yeah. Chini Posse. Yeah. Everything is there. Everything. Yeah. yeah it's real nice. That's all I need to see, mate. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Good to be here. <laughs> Big enough boundaries, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, do you right now any gravel? But when it, it comes on the field, you'll see right around. Yeah. So you right on this side here. So we wrap up this wicket here. Practice. Yeah. So both 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 pitches are practicing on. Yeah. And how often do they practice here? Um well almost almost um the whole week basically it's two yeah. it's a Friday. Yeah. Yeah, so the train yesterday coming right on. Have you met Brian Lara? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. What of do course. you mean, yeah? Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so me, there's me, everybody, all the big players, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Everybody. And who's the biggest star in your opinion coming up? Coming here? Or yeah, Ali coming Khan. up. Ali Khan. Ali Khan. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way. Do you bowl leg spin or pace? Do you bowl leg spin or pace? I. Do you bowl leg spin or pace? I. Yes. Pace. When, Pace. when I used to play cricket. Yeah. Ah. Pace. Yeah. That's a good roller. That's in Nelson Mandela Park. Nelson Mandela Park. Club on that side. So what's Savannah Park? 
He so, picked the Savannah? Yeah. The Savannah is on that side. Yeah. And we go to Sinclair. Well, how cool was that? Queen's Park Cricket Club. And we've got the Brian Lara Pavilion up there. I managed to sneak in off the street and pay nothing. But uh, that's all part of the sales skills, I guess. You've just got to do it. Um, that was an experience and a half. I didn't go to the changing rooms. I felt uh, unobliged to. That's a cool wee bar up there. Whew. Look at the history here. It's amazing. Amazing stuff. That's me signing out from Queen's Park Cricket Club. Very well, here's Queen's Royal College and it's celebrating 150 years of excellence in education. And of course that's Savannah Park. What an experience that was to be in the middle of Queen's Park. And uh, I said to the guy, have you met Brian Lara? He goes, yeah, man. But not all of these. I should have said to him, do you know Jeff Foster? But uh, I forgot. Sorry about that. The goat, of course, of Queen's Park cricket, Jeff Foster and Southam. And uh, that is just beautiful. Look at these old houses. We've got the, the beauty at the front. It's actually de decrepit at the back. My word. Look at that. But what a day in Port of Spain. I saw a great sign before that said this is the way to the port of Port of Spain. Savannah Park. Welcome to Peshier Cemetery, established 1786. You're out of luck if you, were, if you died in 1785. But um, nonetheless, what a day it's been. Just in the middle of Savannah Park. I'd love to be able to get up there. But I'm fear parched, I've been walking for 20k. And when you beat the feet, you got to know where you're going. Luckily, the back of my hand knows exactly where to go. <coughs> Most of the time it does. Um, it is a massive amount of land in the middle of a fairly big city, Port of Spain. Capital of Trinidad and Tobago. That's the only dude under that tree, the old oak. Is that red? I think that could be Alice Boyd reading under there. Yeah, he's looking around. Some birds just weren't meant to be caged. Their feathers are just too bright. I'm going to go and uh, find a little pub, because I'm fair parched. Get a Motela de Agua y Locos de Veta. That's my Spanish for you. I speak English here, of course. Branch down on that tree, it's a wonderful tree, but there is a branch down. Sometimes you just got to get back up, but that tree is down, that branch is down for good. Me signing off from Savannah Park, Trinidad, and Tobago. And this is the Port of Spain. <laughs>